merry grandeur! I don't know what you're doing. Molag Bal is the enemy here, not my children. Subjecting my people to this danger. My children are not evil. Tasteful chore the elf has tasked you with. I cannot come. No one can see the orchard. No one. Temptress, I'll hear no more of your lies! Such a stubborn elf. Perhaps your companion will be more willing to listen to reason. We can't trust this one. Her pleasing form hides a hideous and powerful monster. I hope that you'll prove to be more reasonable than your companion. My offer makes perfect sense, considering the alternatives. The ritual the elf plans to perform will drive my children mad. But there's a better solution if you're willing to listen to reason. Molag Ball is the real enemy here. Let me help you free my children from the Dark Lord's thrall. Then we both win. Some call me the Crimson Matron. Others the concubine of Cold Harbor. I am an elder vampire brought to this new life by Mulag Bal. These are my children, but they have been enthralled by the Lord of Brutality. My children protect this orchard because Mulag Bal commands it. They aren't evil. They're slaves of the Harvest Heart. Instead of destroying them, help me set them free. Imagine an army of vampires that owes you a favor. I can perform my own ritual. It will destroy the Harvest Heart and set my children free. Help me accomplish this, and my children will be in your debt. They will provide you with safe passage through the orchard and aid you against Molag Ball. 
A most wise and honorable decision. I'll follow you to the ritual sites. Protect me while I perform the ritual, and we will break Molagbar's hold on my children. Defend me while I perform this portion of the ritual. Thank you for assisting me. This portion of the ritual is complete. My children will oppose us every step of the way. As long as the Harvest Heart continues to hold them in its grasp, they have no choice. Protect me from them, and I promise I will set them free of Molagbal's evil. Defend me while I perform this portion of the ritual. Thank you for assisting me. This portion of the ritual is complete. Now we must return to the Harvest Heart. There is one more thing to do before we can destroy Molagbal's vile monstrosity. your role in the next stage of the ritual. The time has come to perform the ritual and destroy the Harvest Heart. My children yearn to be free. The black blood flowing from the Harvest Heart binds my children to Molag Bal, but it also gives us a connection we can take advantage of. While I provide the power to destroy the Harvest Heart, you must sever the connection to Molag Bal. Find the Lord of Schemes, binding totems, and destroy them. They are spaced evenly around the Harvest Heart. As each totem breaks, my children will be separated from Molag Ball, and the energy protecting the Harvest Heart will falter. It's too late to change our minds now. 
Destroy those binding totems and leave us to our work. Harvest Heart is destroyed! I hope this was all worth it. I was so looking forward to turning their minds to jelly. The Harvest Heart has been destroyed. My children are no longer slaves to Moloch Ball. Most certainly. Thanks to your efforts, my children are free. They won't give you any more trouble. And as I promised, my children will aid you when you need it most. Another successful mission, but we're not finished yet. Just the person I was looking for. King Dainai is rallying our forces near the Reva Citadel. Yes, King Dainai and our forces are preparing to attack the Reva Citadel to the north. And on my way to find you, I noticed a strange shipyard to the east, and a red guard settlement to the west. It's Molag Bol's last sign of defense before we reach his inner sanctum, and it's certainly his most powerful. The Dramora station there have turned it into a heavily fortified city. Not quite, but soon. He's waiting for you and a few of the others to meet up with him. They're gathering on the land bridge just to the north. I'm gonna head in that direction as soon as we're done here. Strangest sight. More shipwrecks than a shipyard, really. It was as if they just fell out of the sky. And there was an awful lot of them. Other than a massive graveyard of ships of various designs spread across the valley to the east of here? No, not really. Creature. We don't have time for your games. Mortals are <gasps> Here comes always the champion, so amusing. just in time, as always. I offer information, aid for your quest, and you shun me. You expect us to trust a creature of the plains? Ridiculous! A mare as arrogant as a kin. How delightful. I do so love watching egotistical braggarts stumble. I may allow you to reconsider and accept my offer. Of course, I may not. I haven't decided yet. You there! Find out where that creature is lurking. I want her watched. Well, so far the vampires have remained true to their word. They allowed us to pass through the orchard without any resistance. I wonder how long our good fortune will last. We have come so far. 
but we have leagues to go before this business is concluded. We must push forward. We must find a way through the walls of the fortified city that looms ahead of us. A Dramora army guards the walls of the Citadel, but there are those among us who recognize the city, who knew it well before it was pulled from Nern. We can use the guild halls inside to launch a surprise attack, provided someone prepares the way. Find a way inside and locate the Fighters Guild. Wards protect the hall, making it impossible for anyone to get in or out of the building. We know a secret tunnel that leads into the hall, but we'll be trapped inside until the wards are deactivated. Time is not on our side, but I will indulge you. Ask your questions. The wards are part of the defenses from an earlier era. They could be activated to protect guild halls in times of trouble. Once set, the only way in or out of the hall was through the secret passageways. You need to find the Ward Key. The Ward Key is decorated with arcane runes that can unbind the defenses and deactivate the wards. It should be near the Guild Hall. Find the key and deactivate the wards. Then the fighters can emerge from the hall and surprise the Dremora. Even the strongest armor has chinks that can be taken advantage of. Look for a place to climb or a break to crawl through. The female Dramora offered to help us, but Galerion sent her away. If you run into her, see what she has to say. Then you should certainly seek her out. We could use whatever help is offered, no matter its source. Just be on your guard. A Dramora would never offer help without some sort of string attached. The wards are part of the defenses from an earlier era. They...
Finish your preparations. We head out momentarily. Sithis, blind me. Be there other living mortals in this wretched waste? You're the first swab I've seen who still has meat on their bones. A whirlpool. It pulled in our ship and dropped us here. We fell right out of the sky. We went looking for the shipwrecks of the lost fleet. Never expected to find them in another world entirely. These and a few others. I sent the rest with my first mate, Jalan, up that canyon to investigate the nearest wreck. I'm about to lead these lovers to check out a second wreck. Anything we find will be more than we have now. We're off to search the second wreck. I'd be obliged if you could follow Jalan's wake and see what's keeping him. Bring him along to the other wreck, so's I can dress him down for being a lazy lackwit. If he ain't dead, that is. Ask away, mate, but be quick about it. We need to move out soon. Many a year I've sailed the seas around Tamriel, but I've never seen its like. It was vast, larger than all Alton Coromont, and it spun up all sudden-like. No wonder sailors call the waters around Thras the Cursed Sea. We were searching for the shipwrecks of the All Flags fleet. Do you know the legend? Scores of ships lost at sea, each one loaded with loot. I found the log of Admiral Olo's navigator. That told me how to find the Thras Archipelago, or where it used to be before it mostly sank. Olo had himself a good navigator, all right. Her directions led me right into the maw of that whirlpool. Treasure, of course. It's a legend in Alton Coromont that some of our swabs sailed in the fleet that sacked Thras. The ones who survived came home loaded with loot. If my ancestors could do it, so can I. Aye, that'd be a fine end to our adventure. We find the Great Lost Fleet, and then we walk away from it. We lost too many crewmates finding this place. We owe it to them to do at least a little plundering before we pack it in. scared me out of my pelt. At least there's flesh on your face. Where did you come from? Oh, she did, did she? And where were you when my crew was being killed by walking skeletons? No matter. It's just you and me now. You, me, and this door. And the door is stuck. But it'll make a lot of noise. Likely to attract more of those bony swabs. Tell you what. I'll work on the door if you'll keep the bone boys off me. Deal? Fudge blast you. Blasted hatch. Yeah. 
just a little more. Got it? Meet you inside. I was starting to hope you weren't coming in. Look at all this treasure. Wait. What's happening? I feel... strange. My skin. My fur. What? What? Ah! Fools can't resist cursed treasure. Now you are mine to control. <laughs> Kill the intruder!
cursed, Daedra, take it. Cursed. A curse on all curses. My crew, they got excited and rushed to grab the treasure. The gold, it turned them into skeletons. Then some kind of specter appeared and ordered my own crew to attack me. I had to kill them. Curse the luck. Now we find the scoop that ensorcelled my crew and destroy it. Wasting good treasure by putting a curse on it. Now that's foul play by Sithis. Aye, that I did. And I swear on the blood of me crew that Spook will pay for this wicked trick. You have come to a very bad place. Have you come to kill us, Lizard Bones? No, I have come to save you. Listen to me, child. Why are you here? Why have you come searching for this damned fleet of the lost? Treasure? You won't find that here. But revenge? I... Revenge might just be possible. Find the Admiral and destroy him. He's using the ruins of the fleet to build his coral tower. He wants to reach the portal in the sky. We're his slaves, working endlessly to make his mad desires come true. There are many who wish we could rebel, but the Admiral holds the crown of bones. Morlog Ball himself gave him that terrible relic. With it, the Admiral controls the cursed skeletons of the fleet. But you aren't cursed yet. I hid the final chapter of my journal in the hold of my ship, the Golden Era. It's docked at the Skeleton Village. My journal holds the key to reaching the Admiral's Sanctuary. You want to help them to Sona, eh? Fool, you can't defy the Crown of Bones. Kill them! No, I can't. Not my own blood. <laughs> Most entertaining! That Admiral Spook Sithis sink him. Seems to control all the skeletons. And he did. He showed me the Admiral's control isn't absolute. Meet me at the wreck of the Golden Era, and we'll find his hidden journal. Thing ate my my soul. They've taken my soul. They took our souls. They fed them to some sort of anguish gem, and now I'm the only one left. Can you destroy the gem before I wind up like the rest of these wretches? The anguish gem is just beyond this door, but it's barred from the other side. You need to go all the way around. Some rather nasty things lurk in these caves. You need to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> 
you destroyed the Anguish Gem, didn't you? I feel you did. I knew it. That's wonderful. I can't thank you enough. Now I won't wind up like the rest of these poor wretches. I have my soul.
I see your skin is still on your bones. I search the rest of the ship, but there's no sign of the journal. Did you have better? Did you indeed? That be well. Let me see it. I have a plan, but it only includes me. Hmm, maybe I will at that. Let me see that journal, mate. What's this? Alton Coromont. Sithis, take it. This is not but the ravings of a madman. Where's the secret he promised? Ah, that'll be the key that gets us into the Admiral. Or rather, you. I need you to get that crown of bones thing. I've got another task ahead of me. Oh, I do. And I've seen you in action, so I expect to get it. But the dead skeletons had mates in his crew from my village. That makes them relatives even ancestors may have. I think I can use that connection to break their bondage. Worth a try. The key must open the Admiral's Coral Tower. Take it, enter the tower, and kill the Admiral. As for me, it's my duty to look up me dead relatives and see what I can do to help them, even if it's only to lay them to rest. Go on, me. Mates a favor. I'd wager a meat walker like you would like to put your hands on some treasure that ain't cursed. I could arrange that. Help me out of this mortifying predicament, mate. I'm too willful for the Admiral's crown to work on me. So he had me busted to bits and me bones thrown away. And the only thing worse than being a living skeleton is being just a talking skull. Smash up some of these weak-willed swabs and bring me a new set of bones. When I get back on my feet again, I'll reward you handsome-like with loot and all. <laughs> what do you say, mate? Yet, oh, quick work, mate. Now pick up my skull, add it to the lot, and put the whole kit and caboodle on the ground over there. Aye, this'll do, 
just fine. Uh, I'm a skeleton of my words, so here, take this. And I'll be off with ya. I got some vengeance to bestow on them what busted me up. Now you're in for it, you wigwilt swabs! Look what I found. Some long-lost relatives. The shock of seeing me has knocked them out from under the crown's control. But it won't last. That'd be the crown right there. What are you going to do with it, mate? That there crown of bones, it's cursed be like. You could destroy it. That might set the sailors free. Or it might destroy them. I have another proposition for you. Give the crown to me. I must ask you to reconsider, mate. I've got a quarrel with this here Molag Ball, and I intend to lead these sailors against him. Afterwards, I'll set them all free. A damn blast. Destroy the thing and be done with it then. Feel like I'll just have to rely on the old shaman's tricks to put right me new crew. Hmm. They'll be like you're right when all's said and done. Now I'll just have to see what I can do for me new crew here with that old shaman's tricks.